What's up, YouTubers? Today I'm here to show you the Hawk Girl Regime Challenge. Get a good look at her there with her fancy headdress. Makes me wonder how she can hold her head up with such a small neck. So when Hawk Girl tags in, she disables all opponent's special attacks for 5 seconds, and if she gets 200% on special 2, it's a critical hit. Sounds like a pretty iffy uh, passive. So take a look at the first fight. There's my lineup. Here's some of Hawk Girl's gear cards. I thought it only fair I use my old Hawk Girl on the new Hawk Girl. I'm getting power generation and a chance to disable enemy specials on special one. I've also got self heal on special one and increased my damage boost. Next up, I have another damage boost to basic attack increase and a 45% crit chance. Next up, I'll use Arkham Origins Deathstroke. He's a level 30 gold player. And this is one of the best cards in the game. I recommend you get it. It's 15% damage boost to special 2 with a crit chance on special 2. In team with that, I have health boost and self heal on special 2. After that, I have his own gear card. 50% more damage on crit attacks, 45% chance of crit attacks, and 70% damage boost to all basic attacks. Begin. So, Hawk Girl on Hawk Girl here. The old versus the new. I got her stunned. That's really what I put this card on there for. It's just a stunner, I'm sure Hawk Girl won't last long. <sighs> so, going on, you know. Just really building on my second special move, waiting for that Demon Blade. So, once I've got my second special charged up, I'm gonna tag this back in and stun her again. Wait, so I can tag back in. Stun her. Ah, it didn't work. So I'm gonna try and build on my power. Stun her again. There she is, stunned. So this really drops her health down quite nicely and pumps mine up as well. I'm just gonna keep chopping away at her. We could have saved up for another identity crisis there. Ah, I got her stunned again. Now I'm bringing in the big guns. Doomsday with his third special move for a little bit of extra overkill there. And that's that. So here are the gear or booster packs I was awarded. My bronze booster pack, my silver booster pack. Black Adam's one of my favorite characters for the silver level and we get to do it all again and here it is again this is on expert here's a uh, Martian Manhunter I'm gonna use here's the gear cards he will use I always employ these two cards together Demon Blade and the Martian Hunter garb they all tie into special 2 stuff damage boost special 2 self heal special 2 basic I like to pick one attack and work with it and then I'm gonna generate some more power for him I'm not really gonna use special one so I'm not worried about that generate some more power so we can use special two more often Hawk Girl is a level one this is the first time she's ever fought so I'll give you a quick look at her, her gear cards but they're pretty irrelevant and I'm gonna use the same maxed out doomsday again Maxed out bone spikes for unblockable attacks, self heal on special one and 70% damage boost. Another 70% damage boost and 45% crit chance for all basic attacks. And then the same thing again. So I'm going to get lots of crit chance. 
and lots of damage boost, and hopefully they'll be unblockable. <laughs> So let's get ready to fight Martian Manhunter up to bat and hopefully I'll have some interesting random effects with this combo ender. Power Dream is often the first one he gets to use. Which is unfortunate because their power is never fully charged when he does execute it. Stunning me into oblivion here. But that was a very well placed second special move. It was the weaker hot girl? We'll see if it works so well on the tougher one. See, my power generation is not to be overlooked. Alright, that attack was nice. It was really more for show, even though it was totally unblocked. Because it totally had no effect on our health. It's a Doomsday Swipe combo is really... Her swipe attack is really dropping her life down. Oh, and she really should have blocked that one, I think. Since she didn't, I will take full advantage. <laughs> Alright, that's the expert level of the challenge wrapped up. Cyborg is one of my least favorite characters. The Flash I don't use as nearly as much as I'd like to. And there's a great gear card to shatter. So for the next level of the challenge I'll use Static at Regime Doomsday. Static's going to have the Demon Blade Hunter Garb combo because his specialty was awesome. Again, I'll say this is one of the greatest gear cards in the game. It combines damage boost, a special two, and a crit chance. This will jack up my life, and it will give me self heal on special two. And this will make Static's already powerful attacks damage boosted and increased crit chance. Killer Frost will dampen her opponent's power generation. Also have a nice other damage boost to special two. It's not promoted, but it's the only other card I have that'll jack up her unblockable second special move. So give her basic attacks and crit hits. And all three of these work in her favor with power generation, disable enemy specials, and life drain on her unblockable second special move. So let's take a look at what's in store for Static and his counterparts. I think it's interesting that when they show the Hawkgirl challenge on the main challenge screen, she has a different uh, metal morning star or mace or whatever her weapon is called. And in the game, it's the same as it ever was. I think that's lacking on the part of WB Games. So I really had Doomsday in there just because I needed Doomsday on my team and I didn't have anything to recharge my cold Doomsday with. But I don't think it'll be that <coughs> important. Random tag is in effect, so it's tagging me out just as I get my second special move charged up, but Static is up to bat and showing no mercy. Now I'm going to lay into her with the unblockable second special move. And this is the newer, more powerful Hawkgirl, so... As you can see, there's an interesting life drain graphic type glitch going on there. I'm not gaining any life with Killer Frost, but those red bubbles are constantly swarming me. I like to punch twice with Static and then let go his second special move. It kind of confuses the computer into uh, thinking it shouldn't block and it's ready to absorb the full brunt of a tap combo. So you can see the life drain glitch going on there again, but I'm not gaining any life. And the red swirls with Static. Also going on, not gaining any anyway. lane. Something about their gear cards is acting up, but. Quite entirely. 
So that really laid her to waste. Get the old hawk girl in, see if she can make amends for her. No, same thing, second special move. And static second special move is great because it carries over, it kills one opponent, the other opponent tags in, and it will kill them. So that's pretty much the Hawk Girl challenge wrapped up. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and share my videos if you want. That'd be great too. Check out my Facebook page and Injustice videos just for fun. And stay tuned for my next video. Thanks for watching. Thank you, my